Please take out your math skills packet. It's the color orange and turn to page 299-299. You should see at the top of the page some birds, penguins, ducks, um, that's on this page. So if you're having trouble finding it, pause the video and go get in an adult or an older sibling to help you. All right, class, for this lesson, all you'll need is your pencil. We're going to continue talking about subtraction. In today's lesson, we're going to be writing subtraction sentences from pictures. I want to remind you that subtraction is to take away from a group and see how many are left over. In order to subtract, we need to first see how many we have in all. Then we need to figure out how many are being taken away. And lastly, count how many are left over. Let's start on number one. Number one is done for us partially, and we just need to trace over the numbers, but let's talk about it before we start tracing. How many birds do you see in all? The ones that are crossed off and the ones that are not. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. There were four birds before this subtraction took place. Let's write the number four on the first handwriting line. That first number shows us how many there were in the group total in all. Then trace over the subtraction sign and let's see how many birds were taken away from the group. To do that, we're going to count all of the ones that have an X on it. One, two, three. Three were taken away. Trace over the number three on the next handwriting line. That number that comes after the subtraction sign shows how many are being taken away from the group. We read the subtraction sentence like this. Four take away three is how many left over? Well, to find that number, we count to see how many are left over without X's on it. I just see one bird left over. That means that four take away three is one. Put your finger on number two. Let's continue this process of subtracting. Now the subtraction has already been done for us and we just need to write the subtraction sentence to max, match the picture. To get us started, we need to count how many penguins there were in all at the beginning, the ones with X's and the ones without to see how many there are in the total group. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight penguins in all. Let's write the number eight on the handwriting line. Then some penguins jumped into the water and were taken away from the group. Let's see how many were taken away. Let's count how many X's there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six jumped into the water. How many penguins were left on the ice shelf? To find that, let's count how many do not have X's on them. That will tell us how many are left. One, two, there are two left. Eight take away six is two. Would you say that with me? Eight take away six is two. Nice job. That's how we read these subtraction sentences. Let's now do number three with the ducks. I'm going to tell you a math story to show you this picture. As I tell you the story, we'll solve the problem together. There were some ducks swimming in the pond. Would you count how many ducks total were swimming in the pond? Count the ones without X's and with X's. I'll count with you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine ducks swimming in the pond. Go ahead and write a nine on the first handwriting line. Then some ducks dove underwater. Trace over the subtraction sign to show that we're taking them away. 
how many ducks were taken away? Let's count the ones with X's on it to see. One, two, three, four. Four ducks dove underwater. So here's our story so far. Nine ducks were swimming in the pond. Then four ducks dove underwater. How many ducks are still above the water in the pond? To find that, we're going to count how many do not have X's on it. That's how many are left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There are five left. Go ahead and write a five on the last handwriting line. Let's say the math story and the math sentence all together again. Ready? There were nine ducks swimming in the pond. Then four ducks dove underwater. Five ducks were left swimming on top. Let's read this math sentence together. Nine take away four is five. Would you read that with me? Nine take away four is five. Five. Great work. We're going to do the back side, but before we do, would you please come to the top and dog ear fold down the top corner? This will get us ready for tomorrow's lesson so that we know where to find our place. Okay, once you dog ear fold down that corner, go ahead and turn your page and flip your packet. You're going to continue the back side by yourself, just like we did together. I want you to tell a math story. And then write this subtraction sentence to show what is happening to the birds. Remember, the number that you write first is how many there are total, the ones with X's and without. Then you write how many are being taken away and how many are left over. In just a moment, I'm going to show you all of the answers. I want you to solve one, two, and three all by yourself. I'm going to ask you to pause the video and then unpause to see the answers. Ready? Okay, go ahead and pause the video now to solve on your own and then unpause to see the answers. All right, you should have solved all of these on your own. And now here are the answers. For number one, you should have written six take away five is one. For number two, you should have written nine take away six is three. And for number three, you should have written eight take away three is five. Great work today. Now that you're finished with your math page, if you'd like to go on to happy numbers for a few minutes to take a break from your paperwork or your schoolwork, I have the link posted on your lesson plans. If you'd like to skip it today, that is okay with me. Great work today.